I'm muffin and I'm half ass ready. Hey y'all, have a little microphone issue today, so I'm gonna have to talk a little louder than normal, but I can do that. Uh, got a couple things I want to talk to you about. I haven't seen you in a week or two, so here we go. Uh, today we're gonna talk about hand tools. So EMP, power outage, whatever, having trouble getting fuel. All those electric and gasoline powered tools that we have, that we love, we take really good care of them. You know what I'm saying? Our shit's in a storage building. You know, we clean it up. We make sure we put it away so the carburetor don't fail. You know what I mean? We take care of those tools because we use them, right? So, our hand tools are going to be so, so important after the collapse, you know. So, we're going to talk about this, man. I didn't bring all of my hat, but I mean, when we're talking about hand tools, we're talking about shovels, picks, rakes, pitchforks, post hole diggers, bow saws, hand saws, axes, hatchets, and we're talking about your ratcheting wrenches, your open-end box end wrenches. These are all hand tools. These are tools we're going to need. I know it's real nice to go grab that brand new battery-powered impact gun and go to work, but hey man, you better make sure that you've got enough hand tools to repair what you have to repair. I'm talking about pipe wrenches. If you have to do plumbing, if you have to, it, it, say you're making an emergency water supply for your house and you need to put pipe together to get it from where it's at to your house, gravity feed system, whatever. All these things you're going to need hand tools, okay? So look at your hand tools or look at your lack of hand tools. Make yourself a list, man. Start thinking about stuff. Hey, let's get that stuff in there. And then, you know, on top of all that, you got to learn how to take care of them. Look, I picked up this big old two-man handsaw at the flea market, right, for like $3. Somebody had started painting it and didn't like their painting, okay? So, I picked it up. Yeah, it, it's something someone was going to put on their wall for decorative purposes. But guess what? At the end of the day, it's still a two-man cross-cut saw, okay? This might save my life one day. So, now you've picked these hand tools up, right? Now you need to learn how to take care of them, okay? You need to grab an extra handle for your hoe, for your shovel, for your axe, for your hatchet. Um, these are very special to items to sharpen a tool like this, right? You have to have a certain file. Make sure you've got files, round files, flat files triangular files, uh, rat tail files, rasps, half, you, you, you name it, you need files. You need wet stones to take care of these things, just like you do your pocket knife, right? You got to keep these tools ready to work. Look, these tools work fantastic. They built this whole entire damn country with tools just like this, right? They work great. You just have to keep them sharp and know how to use them, right? So. Let's get after that. Let's 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 think about that. That's that's a really good project for you this summer, man. To, to to sit back and think about what you need and get your hands on it. Get out to the flea market. You can find this shit everywhere. Cheap, man. Go find it. Get it in your place. Learn how to take care of it. Get yourself a draw knife so you can make handles for these things if you have to. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, think about your hand tools. Uh, Think about all your hand tools. Think about your cutting tools. Think about your automotive repair, plumbing repair. Any kind of tool, man, think about it. Get them up, get them taken care of, get them in a place where you can get to them and organize them. You know what I'm saying? So, look, these are things that you need to be thinking about, right? This is this is what happens when you, when you decide, hey, I'm a prepper, okay? Hey, I, I'm going to start putting up food. I'm going to start putting up food. That's... A, freaking awesome idea right now think about preparing that food how are you gonna make heat if you can't cut wood right you need a saw to cut wood right you gotta get the firewood down 
You can only go so long without cutting some firewood. Or, you know, whatever your backup food or cooking supply is, propane, whatever, you need to take care of that, right? So, hand tools are important. Uh, along the lines of hand tools, the, this is some advanced stuff that, that really you ought to think about, okay? Because you may be the only one in your tribe or in your community that's thinking about this. This could be a hell of a barter situation, or it could save your life, or it could save the whole damn community's life. Um, a few months ago, I picked up a propane-powered forge, right? Um, I've got several books. Of course, I've been doing blacksmithing with the Boy Scouts for a long time. I've got an anvil. I've got that red toolbox over there full of my hammers and my aprons and my safety glasses and everything I need to beat on steel. I keep a pile of rebar and railroad spikes and metal and lawnmower blades and shit piled all around here, man, in case I need to make a tool, right? You don't have to be a blacksmith to own the blacksmithing tools. If you have the damn tools, maybe somebody in your tribe knows how to use those tools. Might save you and your community. But I purchased a couple of books over the years on basic blacksmithing, right? So get one of those books, take a peek at that book. See what you need to start a basic blacksmith. Uh, you can actually build your own coal-fired forge. Now again, you need to stockpile some coal. I stockpile a little bit of propane, so I've got this propane forge. That's probably what I'm gonna lean on. But I can build a coal forge if I had to, and I know how to make coal. So learn how to make coal if you're gonna make a coal forge. So, that's along the lines of the hand tool. That's why I'm discussing it today. It's a hand tool, man. When you're blacksmithing, you're using hand tools. Uh, get yourself a good pair of tongs right out of the gate. Get yourself a good pair of welding gloves so you don't burn yourself when you're doing it. Again, you don't have to be a damn blacksmith to own the tool, right? Uh, maybe one day I walk through your neighborhood, man, and I, I, I've been traveling and I'm stuck out in the damn wilderness and I just have to become part of your tribe. So one of my selling points is, hey man, I know how to use those blacksmithing tools. <laughs> can I stay, right? I can, hey, I can tote a gun, I don't eat much, and I know how to blacksmith. So hey, let's, let's you know, let's, let's make a deal, right? These are skills, end time skills that we need to know. Get familiar with them, man. Don't be afraid of them. Um, and again, yes, when you start looking at prices of shit, it, it can be daunting. You can think, oh shit, that's way more money than I gotta spend. I wanna spend that on food. I wanna spend that on, you know, my bug out bag. I wanna spend that on a new rifle. So look, you can find this shit cheap. I got that forge very cheap. And you can build your own coal forge pretty damn cheap, right? So be thinking about it. Um, you know, that's my, tip for the day i just wanted to get back out there man it's been a day or two uh man i appreciate the comments you guys make uh you know i'm learning a lot from some of you guys uh, uh especially on the faraday cage stuff that's my been my most popular video I, I think a lot of people are interested in the faraday cage and again man i'm trying to keep my electric tools the tools that i love using a faraday cage so maybe i got them when the when the nmp hits right Maybe I don't, maybe I do, but I'm taking a damn, I, I hope I have them, because it sure does make life easier. Um, I want to talk about a solar setup, too, here soon. I want, you know, nothing to power my house. I, I just don't think it's going to be cost effective for me here where I live. But I do want to set up some kind of solar power supply to recharge my battery tools if they live through the EMP, right? Recharge some 12-volt batteries, uh, shit like that. So I want to get together and talk about that. I still got a few more pieces that I'm, I'm kind of piecemealing mine together, junkyard style. I, I got a couple pieces I have to purchase and I still haven't purchased them. But uh, you know, look, it's been a beautiful summer. I, I'd like to, maybe next weekend we'll get back in my garden. I'd like to show you how well my garden's doing. Uh, but uh, been hard working summer. I know you guys have been busy too. So, you know, I hate them not getting out there as often. I, I seem to get, more out there when in the fall and in the and in the spring when I got better weather and more time. So, but again, man, I appreciate everything y'all looking at me, subscribing, liking. I appreciate everything y'all do uh, looking at what I'm saying. Uh, sometimes I don't make a lot of sense, and sometimes I get pissed off and go on a rant. But look, 
let's talk let, let's, let's look at your hand tools that's what I want to talk about today and that's what we've talked about so uh, hey let's get full ass ready so this is Muffin signing off